It's obvious! What the fuck?! What the fuck?! Shut up! Damn! Ah! Fuck you! Oh, really? Here to make friends. What's the matter? Are you gonna run away again? You really need to grow a goddamn backbone. I'm sorry, but I really don't know what I did to make you mad. You don't know? You don't know, huh? Pathetic piece of shit! <sighs> what the fuck? Asshole! Fucking idiot! Oh, fuck you! Oh, I get it! You all think I'm damaged in the head! I got that! But more than that, Levi, Terrico, Nico, Veronica, and everyone else, you all think you can say whatever the fuck you want to my face, right? I'm stupid, irritating, a good for nothing, and a spineless coward. Is that really what everyone thinks about me? And it's fine that you drill it into my head over and over again? Because you think I'll forget about it in five minutes like you do? <laughs> You're so funny! So fucking funny! Did anyone ever tell you that? You think I act like this for fun? And then I go to bed and sleep soundly at night? You dumb piece of shit! Not my problem. You know, I'm getting pretty sick of you, too! You seem to really enjoy creeping people out for fun, which is a wild thing to do during a killing game! Oh, great! 
Another person to walk into my conversation demanding that it be about them. Maybe you should take a page out of your own book, dipshit, and shut your mouth first. Ever heard of leading by example? Woo! Yet another person to chime in with something useless. Psh. Fuck you! Uh, oh, I get it. You're fucking scared because I received your motive secret, aren't you? If you don't get on your damn knees and admit that I'm right, I'm gonna tell everyone your stupid little secret. If you have so much energy to complain, then why don't you- Hey! What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Fuck you! Fuck! Of course. You always need people like David to save you from mean bullies like me, huh? What a pathetic weakling. The truth is, you're nothing but a spineless whelp who can't stand up for yourself. Go ahead and cry. Let everyone swoop in and help you. Yeah? And? What exactly do you plan to do about it? I am sick of you! Have you no shame? Constantly picking on someone weaker than you! I simply cannot tolerate your behavior any longer! If you're going to keep being a problem, then just get out of my sight! Pushing Nico to say such things! You really are the worst! Damn! me off! You're not fucking dead! Fuck! Ugh. Holy fucking shit! Ugh. Fuck, it hurts like a bitch! Yeah, no fucking shit, turd brain! Do I look like a corpse to you? You coward! Open up! Fuck off! This is between me and Nico. One of us is gonna die tonight, and it's not going to be me. Go swing your bat into a beehive, since you're so interested in sticking your face in other people's beeswax. Go away! I was nearly fucking murdered, is what? And now I'm going to commit a murder of my own. This has nothing to do with you. Fuck off. <laughs> what? You wanna finish the job? Tch. Don't bother. I'd rather bleed all over my room than accept any sort of help from you. And I'll let it get worse. I'd rather die alone than accept your help. It's inevitable anyway. So why should I take your pity on top of everything else I have to suffer through? Don't talk to me ever again. You know... <laughs> I've always wondered which is worse, dying young, or living a long, shitty life of suffering. But it turns out, neither of those options are as bad as this. Don't ask stupid crap. And also, go eat shit. Asshole!
Fuck you! Obvious. How do you read this chicken scratch? Better question. How do you expect anyone else to be able to read this? What the fuck? What the fuck? Solid evidence? All right, you asked. Everyone open your fucking ears and listen to me. I know what David's secret is. Shut up! You piss me off! It's obvious! Great! Another asshole coming down here. Just when I thought I'd get some quiet. Huh? Ha! 
That's just a load of crap! You bitch! Piss me off! So what? Bitch! That's just a load of crap! Piss me off! Are you sure? Maybe you're just incompetent! You tied a wire to Ace's neck, strung it over one of the ceiling grates, and then taped it to the ceiling fan using a step stool. And then... <sighs> How would that have worked? I used the broom. And... Um... Like a spool. Ah. I think I understand. In order to lift Ace into the air, 
You turned on the fan and held up the handle end of the broom so that the fan would wrap the wire around the broom. When Ace was high enough, you yanked the broom out, releasing all the wire and causing Ace to fall. At least that was the plan. But seeing that the fan broke off, clearly it didn't work exactly like that. Actually, Ace had woken up and was struggling, and that's why the fan broke off. I didn't really know what to do. But I think he hit his head again when he fell, because he was unconscious again. And then I... Uh, uh, I... You know... You didn't want to give up on your murder attempt just yet. So you tried to garrot him with the wire, right? Yeah. At that point, Eden and I showed up, and you had to give up completely on killing Ace. In the end, there were many pitfalls with that method of murder, and it failed to kill Ace. All you managed to do was to break the fan, make a mess of the gym, and give Ace some mild injuries. Asshole! Piss me off! So what? You! Piss me off! Bullshit! Idiot!
bitch asshole! The fuck? Shut up! Shut up! Are you seriously? You all actually think I'm too goddamn stupid to accomplish anything? Do you really think I'm two seconds away from choking on my own spin and passing out? Of course it did! I don't think I'm a genius! But even then, I'm not a fucking monkey! Of course! Of course! Why wouldn't I? Of course I... What? This is what it all comes down to, huh? Why is this the choice I have to make here of all things? You want me to choose between my dignity and my life? Ha! I've been forced to make this choice constantly! This whole time I've been trapped in this godforsaken murder game! Stuck with a bunch of people who think I was born defective! David is an annoying bastard! And I hate his guts! But... He's right! What dignity do I have at this point? Everyone thinks I'm a stupid, weakly coward who isn't good for anything but screaming! So yeah, I agree with you all. I'm too fucking incompetent to pull off this murder. I'm a total goddamn idiot baby who can't tell his left from his right if it was written on my hands. Now go! Suspect Eden of murder instead of me. At least you all respect her. So what? You fucking idiot! No way I could have done any of the shit you're suggesting! Being a jockey doesn't make me some kind of god! How the hell would I have gotten the rope up there? You're insane if you think I could have climbed up there too! <laughs> It's all bullshit. Complete bullshit! Coming, are you jackasses out of your mind? Do you even hear the diarrhea stream of shit coming out of your mouths? I mean, I could have performed this murder because I'm a jockey. Are you fucking stupid? 
Just because I'm somewhat athletic, it means no one else could have committed the murder. Did you try washing your vegetables before you eat them? Or did you all get a parasitic infection of brain worms over the past few days? I don't want to hear anything from you most of all, Eden. It's because of your whiny little crying spell that Terrico decided to come after me. All because she pities you. Eden, Nico, and Terrico are all just a suspect. So why am I being attacked? You're all always assuming the worst of me. How is that fair? Especially after I nearly got murdered myself. Now Nico is going to get off scot-free and I'm going to be punished? You're corrupt. All of you! Why? Why do I have to shut my trap but everyone else can say whatever the hell they want? Am I not allowed to speak for myself? What kind of bullshit rape trial are you all running here? You don't have any real evidence to pinpoint me! Shut the fuck up! If I survive this trial, I will actually kill all you bastards for real! I didn't fucking kill her! You're so full of shit! Is there something wrong with your brain? You bastard! I'm going to kill you! Why don't you try accusing someone else? You're so full of shit! You've always had it out for me! Is there something wrong with your brain? I'M GOING TO KILL YOU! How could I have thrown the rope that high? You have no proof I'm capable of making a throw like that! Bullshit! Shut up! Damn it. I'm such a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm screwed. There's no way I'm making it out of this trial alive. I just wanted to stall for time. I'm scared of dying. I really am. I... I killed Are. That's exactly right. I was scared of dying. That's all. If I didn't kill someone and escape, then I was going to die. I'm fucking terrified of dying. I can't sleep at night because I keep thinking about how I'm going to die young in this goddamn killing game. I didn't want to die. I want to live. 
just like everyone else. I know that. I'm the one who murdered Ari, so of course I know that. Ari, she was a piece of shit too, just like me. <laughs> Even if she said all that nice bullshit to Eden, there was no guarantee she was really going to change and become a good person. Maybe if she lived, then by tomorrow, she'd be right back to her annoying bitchy self. At least she was trying. I really am a piece of shit, huh? Fuck you! The culprit, Ace, decided to choose Are as his victim when he overheard Are comforting Eden. He was originally planning to kill Eden. However, when he learned that Are was strongly motivated to prove herself to Eden, he realized he would be able to take advantage of that. He forged a letter from Eden, asking Are to meet her at 7.30 a.m. in the playground and slipped it under Are's door sometime during the evening. Before official nighttime started, he filled some jugs with water from the relaxation room's pond and stored them somewhere. During that night, he began preparing for his murder. Ace specifically chose a method of murder that resembled the way Nico tried to murder him a few days ago, so he could pin the blame on Nico. He began by setting up a mechanism for drop hanging in the playground. He wrapped high-friction tape around the bars of the carousel to give it more friction. He took the stretch band he had and tied it around the bars to create a makeshift slingshot. Then, he tied Ares' rope, which he got from the storage, around a starched ball of old clothing and used his slingshot to launch it over one of the ceiling rafters. This took him a few tries, and he broke some of the lights in the process. He then tied one end of the rope to the carousel. Afterwards, he tied the other end of the rope into a noose after securing the water jugs through the rope. He tested this setup multiple times until he figured out the right length of rope to use. With this, his preparations were complete. Are arrived at the playground at 7.30 a.m. in the morning, expecting Eden. But instead, she was ambushed by Ace, who strangled her until she passed out. He taped her wrists together and put her in the noose. He tied the rope to the carousel again to reduce the length of the free rope. Then, he started to hoist her body up by rotating the carousel. Once Are reached the top, he released it. The rope unwinded quickly until it hit its end, which was shorter than it was before due to the knot that Ace tied. The jerking motion snapped Are's neck and killed her. However, the water jugs did not hold up and broke, splashing water and fish everywhere. 
Ace then cut her free and shoved the excess rope under the spinner. He climbed on top of the swing set and tied the other end of the noose there to make it seem like Are hung herself. He then removed the tape from her wrists, which left red marks. He tossed the fake note, tape, and broken water jugs into the trash. Finally, he left and went upstairs to meet everyone else in the movie screening room for the motive announcement. That sums up what you've done so far. Isn't that right? Ace Marky, the ultimate jockey. Piss me off! Asshole! I knew. I knew that I wasn't allowed to call him a murderer. I had no right to act betrayed. Because I was the one who betrayed everyone. But still I... But still, I... I don't care what it was! I don't care if it made me a hypocrite! Even if I was completely in the wrong! And even if it made my life worse! I just needed a reason to stay mad at you! Any reason at all, God damn it! God, stay that way! I hope you never understand me! Even after I buried a billion miles deep in the ground and you're weeping in my grave, you piece of shit! I... I can't... do it. You tell me to do something crazy like it's nothing, but it's terrifying. I'm scared. I don't want to die. I can't do that. I... <sighs> I know that I'm a coward. But that doesn't mean you have to keep saying it! <sighs> Shit! What the hell? You said he'll survive if he gets immediate medical treatment! Arturo, you have to save him! If I... Ah, oh, damn it! If I get executed, then you all can leave and take him to the infirmary, right? So... Oh, fucking hell! I don't want to die! <sighs> <sighs> Execute me right now! You hear me, Mono TV? Shut up! What the hell are you talking about? Aren't you a surgeon? Can't you fix him? <sighs> Shut up! Shut up, Arturo! You can save his life! Shut the fuck up! Stop saying you can't do it because you can! Don't you understand? I'm going to die right now! And you're going to live! So decide whether you want to at least try to put in some fucking effort for once, or keep making excuses for yourself like a sniveling coward for the rest of your life! I don't even get to make that decision anymore! Stop complaining, you whiny little shit! 
grow some fucking balls and save someone's goddamn life, asshole! Because you can! Bono TV, just... just do it! Get it over with quickly. Please. <sighs> I... I'm gonna fucking die. I knew this was going to happen all along. I had no chance of surviving this killing game. Even so... I'm so scared. I'm so scared of dying. I don't wanna die.